I said the straight glasses are going to be a lot easier because it's a really straight, smooth surface. So just to show you how to do that, pull off tape and only do small sections at a time. I've had students pull off big sheets of tape and as they're starting to do it, the tape just gets stuck to each itself. It's like duct tape. It's very sticky. So just do small sections. You can overlap if you have to. Because this is a really tall, narrow glass, I'm going to just place it as straight as I can and burnish the middle. You can see there's a dark shadow there. Um, now what I'm going to do from the middle is I'm going to burnish going out to the outside. And what I'm trying to do with my finger is avoid any air bubbles. Let's say you get an air bubble like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. What you do is you just pull the tape back, hold it tight, and I'm holding it with my left hand, the tape, as I'm burnishing and going around. If I wanted to do a design all the way around, I would get a new sheet. Maybe I'll do that. And this time, because I want it to match up, I could try to line it up, but there might still be a gap there like that. So I'm just going to overlap it. That just means if my design goes in that area, I'm just going to be cutting through two <clears throat> pieces of tape instead. So you don't really want multiple lit layers, but if you have two pieces, one on top of the other, that's fine. And wow, that was pretty perfect. There's a little gap there, but I'm not going to worry about it. So that's how you would tape something that's straight if you were going to go around. Now for this jar, because it's shaped a little bit funkier, it's going to be harder. Resume. All right, so this time, I'm actually, because the jar is not as tall, I'm going to go <coughs> sideways. And I'm going to start the same way, where I'm going to go, um, I'm holding the tape on both ends, and I'm going to go straight down the middle, like that. And you can already see some bubbling happening. The easiest thing I do is make a like a plus sign. So I'm going to go straight down the middle across this side and then straight down the middle on the other side. So now I have a big plus symbol. Next I'm going to make an X. I'm going to go from the middle and go diagonally and diagonally. And you can see all these bubbles happening, right? Now what I'm going to do is take my X-Acto knife. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit on this. Now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to start where that bubble starts, probably right near the middle here, and slice right down the middle of that bubble. So I'm cutting that and I'm going to lift one side, lift the left side. Now the left side I'm going to burnish down as flat as I can and then the right side I'm going to overlap that. So see I'm getting an overlapping effect right there, but now this is nice and smooth. So I'll do it again over here. I'm going to cut that. Now sometimes, and I'll do the bottleneck area so that you can see, you might get a gap. So let's say I want to tape this area up here. So if I want to do something where it's concave, I'm just going to do the same thing down the middle, go across one side. Now as I try to go across, the tape isn't stretching because it's going in this direction. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut carefully those edges and try to wrap this one nice and tight. But now when I go to do this side, there's going to be a gap. So again, I'm just <clears throat> going to slice this here. The most important thing is to try to get a nice, tight, smooth coverage. And because I'm covering over here, this is starting to look sloppy. I'm just going to do a gentle, light cut. Peel this off like that so that there's only one thin area that overlaps and continue to burnish. Now anytime there's, there's a slight bump here, I'm just going to do what I did before and slice right down the middle of that, peel this side back, burnish that side, and then push this over top that so there's a slight overlapping. So in the end, again, you don't have to cover the entire thing. If my design is only here, then I don't have to put that piece of tape up there. But otherwise, if you are going to cover it, that's how you do it on round areas, is it's using the X-Acto knife and cutting it wherever it needs to stretch. And for this area, if I needed to put something there, I would just take a piece of scrap tape and overlap that. Because again, if you've got two layers, it is possible. You, know, you can have two layers there. Do you guys have any questions? Okay, so using my cow as an example, I printed this out to the size. I've colored the back, so there's lead coverage on the back here. And now I'm just going to go ahead and use some hard surface, whether it's a pen or a pencil, and transfer 
this design. So I'm only going to do part of it just for the sake of time. And there. Okay, so you can see, hopefully you can see the pencils transferring. Once you've transferred the whole thing, notice I have fabric here. I'm going to bunch it up. That's so that my jar doesn't roll around as I'm working. If I try to work like this, it's going to slip, and then as you're cutting, it's going to be very dangerous. So if I have some kind of fabric here, I'm still going to hold on to the jar, but it's going to have less of likely to slip. Now I'm going to take the exact and I hold it like a pencil and very carefully add pressure, and you're just cutting right through that tape. So the difference here versus the silk screening is all of my negative space is just sticking to the glass. So if I want to peel this up, now I'm going to slice under here once I've cut that area and remove that piece of tape. So that area is going to be glass etched. If I want to do a line, it's the same as before. I'm going to go on the right side of the line and then the left side of the line and then get in there. Now let's say that I accidentally cut away a piece that I didn't mean to. So let me peel this away. And oh, there's also, there's booger tape here. You want to get that booger -y tape. Just go in there with the X-Acto knife very carefully. Notice that I'm using my X-Acto knife sideways just to peel it up. Um, okay, so let's say there's an area in here I didn't mean to cut away. I'm going to go ahead and take the piece that wasn't supposed to be cut away and just tape that right back in place, making sure to burnish. And I don't know, can you guys see that okay? Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'll show you the pasting later, but that's how you tape and you cut. Just make sure you have fabric under here.